Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. On this episode, we are continuing with our series on SkyUI Mod Configuration Menus, or MCMs. And I promised you I would show you how to make a cool logo. So when you click on your mod in the uh, Mod Configuration menu, it shows something nice, and your mod looks all looks all professional and whatnot. You gonna look up here? Come here. Look up here. Ooh, she's totally done. You gonna you gonna look weird the whole episode and just kind of look like a weird ghost in the green screen? You sure are. That's okay. That's okay, baby. We're gonna show them how to make a logo. So let's do it. So I guess we need a logo. I don't want to spend part of this episode making a logo, but I don't know. This is so easy. Like this is gonna be the shortest thing ever. <laughs> let's make a logo. Go to some website where you can get public domain images or make sure that the image that you're using, check its like attribution policy and its creative commons type and stuff like that. You may end up needing to create a credits page within your MCM menu that has credits to your images and other things like fonts or whatever. So think about that, the images and the fonts that you use Look at their attribution policy and you might want a credits page in your MCM. It, it's a little whatever. Uh, let me look at fantasy. Ooh, let me make sure my safe search is on. It is good. Um, cool, cute things. What do we want our mod to be about? Ooh, book. Could be a, a book mod or a butterfly mod. We'll make a butterfly mod. I am not a robot. Oh, let me do this thing. All right, it proved I'm not a robot and I downloaded the thing. Cool. Uh, we got a thing. We got an image. Fantabulous. So uh, we need to turn that into a DDS texture, basically, so that Skyrim can load it. So what you're going to want, if you don't have it from watching some of my other episodes, you're going to want the GIMP. So go and download the GIMP. And then you're going to want the GIMP DDS plugin, which you can find on code.google.com. And then look into the downloads link. And then you don't want the first one, which is source code. You want this one, which is the 64-bit binaries. Uh, mine is colored because I've downloaded it many, many a time. And then when you open it up, it's just got like a readme, which tells you exactly where to put it, which is nice. So after GIMP has downloaded, you can just go to the folder that's in the readme. It's like program files, GIMP2, lib, GIMP, 2.0 plugins. Got all these little folders with uh, this has a Python file. Most of these have little executables, and you have a folder with an executable that's the plugin. So, um, extract it, turn it into a directory, and then just uh, drag that directory in here. Move the whole directory into plugins. Once you got that done, you'll be able to open up DDS files, and most importantly for us, you'll be able to save them. Let's make a project. I'm gonna go to the GIMP. Gimp, gimp, gimp. That's my version, apparently. We're going to make an image, and it's going to be 768 by 444. Apparently, that's what Skyam likes, or at least per Dark Fox 127. Thank you, Dark Fox, for your logo um, episode. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to make a new one and make its background transparent. Transparent background. So make it 768 by 444. 768 by 444. Here we go. Let's put our picture in it. Um, our picture's way bigger. But that's fine. Uh, we, we could scale out our layer, but whatever. We're not, this isn't a design episode. This is a uh, uh, show the logo episode. So we could be done. Um, but let's just put butterfly on it or something and just be done with that. We'll, we'll in white, we'll type like a butterfly. Uh, and I think I have like a fantasy kind of font, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, fantasy, ooh, butterfly, nice. 200, uh, I don't know, 150. Butterfly. Doesn't butterfly have like this really cute uh, name in French? How about we name our mod that? Butterfly in French. Papillon, cool. Isn't that a dog? Papillon, white, capitalized, white, fantasy. And we're done. We made a, we made a thing. Um, we're done. 
I mean, if you wanted to, you could just like, uh, I don't know, you could just like duplicate this layer and then you could like, I don't know, you could change the color of this to like, uh, I don't know, match the like nice butterfly color. And then you could like uh, turn this other layer on and then you could like blur it or something. Do like a little blur to give it a little glow. Ooh. There you go, just make it pop. And then uh, I, I guess because it's Skyrim, you want to be elite. You want to be cool. You want to be one of the, the cool kids and show how elite you are. So maybe in white you'll say, uh, Pep Beyond. Maybe you'll even say, by who you are. By uh, whichever your name is. I'm not going to give you mine. Uh, and you'll make it in Skyrim. You'll, you'll make it in Skyrim language. So um, you know, maybe we'll just make it Pep Beyond in Skyrim language. So go find a Skyrim language somewhere. There's a couple of fonts out there. They got different uh, attribution policies, like I said. And uh, uh, what is this one? It's this one? Sure, why not? We'll duplicate that one. Why not? Why not? And then we'll go put it in Skyrim. We'll go put it in Skyrim. Let's select it and make it, uh, I don't know. We could do the same color. Sure, why not? We'll make it glow. And it glows. Ta-da! Fantastic. Uh, you might want to, you know, uh, save this into like your mod folder. Let's see, mine is. Uh, I wish I could add it to the left side here. Skyrim mods MCM. Maybe I'll make a new folder in my mod called Images. Cool. And uh, I'll call this MCM dot whatever it is XFC or whatever. What is it? What's it supposed to be? XCF. Ta-da! Cool. And then we want to uh, make it a uh, DDS. Uh, what are the easiest ways? So you could just merge down all these layers. Uh, I just cheat and I make it a ping file. A PNG. And then I just open up the PNG. Uh, file open. Open up that PNG. So all the layers are flat. And then I export it as a DDS. So now we're going to make it a DDS and we're going to put it in a special plugin, uh, a special folder. I'll show you where. So when you export it, it's going to ask you about a compression and you want DXT5 from the compression list. DXT5. Um, is there a way to, like, I don't know, I wanted to see if there was a way to auto squish all the layers so I don't have to do the ping step. And then, uh, cool, we're done. Now if you go to your mods, Here's my mods, here's my cool mod, here's my images. Uh, maybe I'll just put that fantasy image in there and I'll just add a like little attribution file, uh, attribution, and uh, maybe I'll credit this image on the credits page. But uh, I'll just save this so that I don't forget where I got it. These are all just like good things to do. And then we're gonna put this DDS somewhere. So. We got our mod folder. We got our mod folder here with like our uh, our ESP and our scripts folder. We're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna call it interface. Interface. Inside of it, we're going to make a new folder. The name of your mod. Cool mod. Inside of it, we're going to put our DDS. Ta da! Your mod, interface, cool mod, DDS. Let's go make it show up in Skyrim. That was nine minutes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Someone learned something there. Um, let's go make it show up in Skyrim. So we got a mod here. Let's run it in Creation Kit. I mean, honestly, most of getting the logo working is making the logo. So that's going to be most of this episode. I know it's absurd. Uh, so we got our we got our quest here with our MCM menu right here we got that so you can right click edit source this is what we got from last time I think it looks a little bit something like this uh, this is what we got from last time we were working on multiple pages and stuff um, we can just get rid of all this nonsense uh, I think I already got rid of the stuff down there sure we'll have these three pages and what here's what we're gonna do uh, you could render this on any page but normally you want to render it on the home page when people click on your mod, 
you want to see this cool logo or even a random logo that's super easy to do um so some cool logo and um yeah and and then people have to click on the other pages because you want them to seem cool and professional so what you're going to do is if the page equals nothing so that's if it's the home page if it's the home page you're going to load the dds so you say load custom content and you give it the path I and mean, you can also give it like positions um, but we're just going to give it the path to this dds file and the root of it is in the interface directory so if we put foo.dds right into interface we'd say foo.dds but what we did was we inside interface put a cool mod folder and then an mcm.dds so we're going to type cool mod slash mcm.dds uh, and you can use that slash if you use this slash i think you need two of them just use that one save and then um here's the thing that's going to get loaded when you load up any of the other pages and stuff you need to unload that so um siren uh, everybody normally has this if conditional at the top that says uh, if the page is whatever, load the custom content. Otherwise, unload the custom content. Uh, and then down here, you actually check if page equals one, do some stuff. If page equals two, do some stuff. Uh, you could just say like, uh, I don't know, um, render logo page, or just render logo um, function, render logo and function. And you can actually just say uh, if current page, if you ever want the current page, you can you can do that. Um, so that should work. Render logo and then do whatever you normally do. Uh, make your other pages. So I don't know. Let's compile it. Let's compile. You can just control S and compile it there in Creation Kit because that's what you do in Creation Kit. I'm going to open up my Creation Kit and close it so I can run Skyrim. I'm going to boot up some Skyrim. See if it works. I got my mod enabled. Let's see, we got um, we made it the right size. We made it the right size. We said load custom content. We made sure we unload it on the other pages. Um, it's a DDS and it's DXT5. We did all the things. It should work. Mod configuration. I'm gonna click on cool mod. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Ta-da! We got a logo. We did it. We did it. Now you can go to other pages and it disappears and you can put your widgets here. Now check out the pages and layout episode if you want to see a good recommendation on how to uh, organize your code for all these widgets and stuff. Um, now if you wanna go back and see your cool logo again, ta-da, you got a cool logo. Um, let's make this episode shorter than 15 minutes so more people are likely to click on it. That's it, ta-da. Nine minutes of the 15 minute episode was me just playing around and finding a public domain image. So, yeah, you got a logo. You can make your mod configuration menu look super cool, uh, and you can make it random. You can figure that out yourself. You got it. Um, should I sh pause and show you the code? I'll pause and show you the code. Okay, we got random stuff. I'll show you real quick how to do random stuff as a bonus. Uh, in my mod, I got an interface directory with a cool mod, and I made different variations. There's a purple one, a blue one, and a red one. We can pick them at random. I made a little, uh, here's the mod MCM, and I made a little variable that's a string array of the colors. Um, when the configuration in it happens on config in it, where we make our, our pages and stuff, I just made a function that I call that fills the array with purple, red, and blue. Cool, and then when the page renders on page reset, we render a logo, just like we were doing before, but now load custom content gets its file path from pick random logo. And so pick random logo uh, looks at this array and it grabs one, it grabs anything from zero to like two. So it's, it's got three things in it. So the length is three, so three minus one is two for the index. So we do from zero to two using utility random int. And then uh, we get the color name using that and then we return the file the full path cool mod mcm underscore thing and uh let's go into skyrim
We're in Skyrim, it's raining because I'm using a mod that I made that picks random weathers. Ooh, there's some thunder. Um, so let's go to system, mod configuration. Cool mod is purple. Let's go back. Cool mod is blue. Let's go back. Cool mod. I want the red one. It's purple again. Cool mod. I want the red one. Give me the red one. It's blue again. Well, that's it. We made it. Right now it's just showing purple and, and uh, whatever. Give me the give me the red for goodness sake. Give me the red. Man oh man oh man. Man oh man. I did it like three more times and it's red. So we did it. Hooray! We did it. Cool. That's a bonus. Bonus. Ooh. Wrong one. Now it's the right one. How to set up your uh what's it called? logo for your Skyrim mod. You got a logo. Your, your MCM looks all professional and stuff. You can make it random. You can do whatever you want. You've seen how to make it in the GIMP or whatever and make it into a DDS texture. It's got to be 768 by 444. DXT5. Interface. Some folder. Blah.dds. Go make it. Alright. Happy modding everyone. Bye bye.